Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Life Number One from Distillery. Now, this has been out for a little bit. The second issue came out this past week, so we're going to review both of them uh, today. Uh, this is written by Brian Azzarella and Stephanie Phillips with Dan Danigel Zizelj is the artist, Lee Lawfridge is the colorist, Jared K. Fletcher lettering and design. And yeah, it's everyone the uh, same on this one. And the reason I had to do that is because it is a flip book. For some reason, flip books are hot right now. I'm kind of fascinated by this. Uh, so life is really, really interesting. It's a cool sci-fi story. And I've kind of wondered if you, depending on which way you read it, how it comes off. Because the, the two stories intertwine eventually. You're getting one story from different perspectives, and it you know takes a little bit for them to converge, but they converge. Um, so the, the general story is, at least on the main, is uh, a group of um, thieves, gonna, thieves are going to go rob a uh, former prison colony. There's supposedly like diamonds and riches and all this stuff, and the head of the former prison colony was hiding stuff and making himself rich, and they're going to go yeah, liberate all of that. Uh, so it's, you know, you're very typical getting the gang together to go do one last score, even to the point where, like, the main safe cracker is, like, just getting out of jail and being like, no, 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 I'm out, I'm out. And then, of course, he gets pulled back in. Um, so in that way, it's, it's, like, it's more the setting that I think is really cool, and the setup between the two stories is cool. That's really where things get going. It's kind of a little mix of, like, aliens with some of the setting like the the technology and going to cryo sleep and all that feels very aliens at least the beginning of aliens and even kind of like getting the people together feels kind of very aliens um and then the bank robbers just robbery aspect of or whatever you want to call it it feels very just that sort of genre when you get to the end there's something about it i don't know why it reminds me of predator and I, I don't know if anyone else got that vibe as well, but it just feels very Predator to me, and I, I don't know why. Um, so I'm, I'm very interested in seeing where it goes. Now, the flip is the Predator aspect of it. Uh, the story is about uh, these folks who are prisoners, uh, and these are horrible, horrible people. We're talking, like, rape, murder, all sorts of stuff. Uh, and they are sent to a prison colony, but what's interesting is that even though they have life sentences... You know, obviously, if someone has multiple life sentences, 37 life sentences, they're not going to actually live out the full 37 life sentences. They're going to die whenever they die. But it seems to be a little sci-fi, like, horror aspect to it. And these individuals are injected with something where they are forced to live out their sentence. So if it's 37 life sentences, yeah, you're, you're living for 37 lives, apparently. Um, which means all sorts of stuff. Like, if you can't die, like, parts falling apart, like, your baby getting cancer, and skin's all getting messed up. Like, it's that. So there's, like, this weird horror aspect of um, uh, a Lord of the Flies-ish vibe as well. We're gonna throw a Lord of the Flies vibe into it as well uh, for this part of it. Like, it's, it's really interesting. It's not quite Demolition Man. I'd say it's much more horror Lord of the Flies. Like, they're, they're dumped, and they've clearly had to, like, create a society and all that. Um, and, of course, the two stories clash because where the prison planet is is what those people are going to go rob. Um, it's cool. It's, it's a really, really cool aspect to bring um, these two stories together and does it in a really neat way where it's not quite evident what's going on, but, you know, as you read, the, it's become clear and clear and clear. Uh, and what's nice is you get the two perspectives of the groups as, you know, one side gets to a planet and is like, what the hell? What, what are we coming across? And the other group's like, what the hell's this ship? Sweet, let's get a ship and get the hell out of here. Um, you know, it's it's a, a clash of, of groups who aren't really talking the way probably should. Um, art, very sci-fi, very cool. I, I like it. Um, and it's also the, the flips I like is there's one side called pros and the other side cons. Um, I, I do like that um, uh, titling. There's something kind of fun about it. Um, as I said, I think the, the really, really cool, uh, interesting aspect would be is what would happen if you read the cons first and then the pro versus the pro and the cons. And honestly, the only reason I chose the pro side is because of the the barcode. To me, the barcode should be on the back, generally, so that's the... I kind of went with the... the one without the barcode is the side to start with. Man, they're gonna be, they're gonna mess with me, like a future printing, they're, they're gonna make the con with the non-barcode, and I'm gonna go into that and be like, what the hell? Um, so I really like it. It's cool sci-fi. Um, you know, really uh, familiar concepts, but, like, done in a really interesting way, 
that I, I don't think I've seen before and presented definitely in an interesting way with the flipbook aspect of it. So uh, it's good. It's it's overall really solid read, really entertaining. Recommend it. If you like sci-fi and you like especially like, you know, bank heist type stories, you're, you're going to dig it. Um, as I said, very like, very aliens, very predator, very, you know, Ocean's Eleven type stuff. Like it, it hits the right notes and... and you know, it doesn't bend the genres, like, it doesn't do anything crazy with them, but it does all of them really, really well. So, check it out. Out in shops, we got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code, tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We have some of the links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage. By doing that, you'll support our site. So, thank you. Uh, and just watching your videos, you always support us. So thank you for that. Um, if you, yeah, if you want the latest comic news, reviews, whatever, check us out every day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy. Keep it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep it reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.